This video is going to guide you through installing your Insightly project management system, the backbone of your business. The first thing you need to do is install your Insightly project management system from your Google Apps admin panel. To do this, you're going to go to Google Apps and what you want to do is you need to sign in. You're going to enter your domain name and here you want to select domain management, click go. Then you're going to add your username and your password. Okay, and I'm going to switch accounts. Okay, so this is my secured property investments account. What you want to do is click on Shop the Marketplace. It's going to open a new window. And then you want to type in here Insightly search the marketplace it's going to come up click on this link here and then click on add it now I agree you're going to scroll down and let me bring this up you're going to grant access enable app now okay and now Insightly has been enabled now you have two ways to actually get to it the next step is to customize your Insightly project management. As far as getting to it, the first way is right here. All you have to do is click on this link and it's going to open up. Might take a minute. Okay, clicking that link will log you in. The other way to do it is to actually go to your business website and I'm going to do that now so it's securedpropertyinvestments.com okay here's the business site if you click on team member login you created this page and it has a link to your project management dashboard all you have to do is click that you're going to enter your business domain name and you're going to click on go and you're logged in. Now there are a few things you need to do as far as customizing your project management. You're going to click on settings. You're going to have categories. Your initial category should actually be your business name. So we'll say secured property investments. Click add category and I failed to do this. So we're going to have tasks, files, projects, and opportunities. I click Save. I'm actually going to trash the remaining categories. You can add categories in the future as you need them. For instance, if you're doing a project for a specific niche, you might create a category named that niche. For instance, golf. I'd create a category called golf, and any projects I did within the golf niche will go into that category. So I'm going to delete all of this here. Okay, next, what you need to do. You don't need to worry about opportunities, relationships, pipelines, users. When you initially set up your project management system, you are going to be the only person that has access to it. You have to give your other users access one at a time. To do this, simply highlight the user you want and click on Add New User. Do this for all of your users and then they will all have access to the project management system using their Google Apps username and password. Next, you go down to Teams. At this point, you don't really need to worry about Teams. And you have your account. So you can see everything down here. Uh, next thing you need to change, you do Contacts, Organizations. You want to add a new organization, and you want to add your company name. Okay, you can put your phone numbers, your email address, your website, everything, and click on Add Organization. And then when you click on Organizations, you'll see your company name. Opportunities, projects, you don't need to worry about that right now. Emails, you don't need to worry about. That concludes this video. If you have any questions, as always, please let me know. With that said, bye for now, and I will talk to you soon.